Hello guys, welcome to Deep Codes and in today's video we will discuss Lit Code question 2348 that says number of zero failed sub arrays. So here you are given one integer array nums and we need to return number of sub arrays filled with zero. A sub array is a contiguous non empty sequence of an element within an array. So as you guys can see in this first example, so here this is a nums array and uh, you need to return the number of sub array filled with zero. So here uh, this is the given one three zero zero two zero zero four. See one sub array is this this um, this much part, another sub array is this much part. Then this complete can be one counted as one another sub array. Similarly here this is one sub array, this is one sub array, and this complete is another sub array. So guys, there are total six sub array. This one two, this complete one three, four five, and this complete one six. So there are six sub arrays with uh, filled with zeros. Okay. Now if you look at this example, so you have added something like this zero 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 two zero zero. So this is one sub array. This is another sub array. This is another sub array. Now this up till here is one sub array. Then this also can be counted as one sub array. And this complete three uh, zeros at a time is also one sub array. So here total sub six sub arrays are there, and this is seventh. 8 and 9 so total 9 sub array are possible for this given num set so we return 9 so the question is simple to understand that we just need to count how many uh, sub arrays filled with zeros are possible got it now there are two approaches to solve this question both the approaches are, inter are interconnected and we will discuss them one by one so uh, yeah till now you have understood that how uh, we can uh, get number of sub arrays like uh, we have to we have to count how many uh, arrays are there see just a minute let me explain you again okay so let's uh, say this is the given array now uh, uh, now uh, for a uh, for a while just forget that we have to count sub array filled with zero you have given an array uh, with a size of n you need to find a uh, number of sub arrays of this uh, array with a size n you need to find number of sub array possible from array of size n how many uh, array how many sub array are possible from the size of n see the answer is n into n plus 1 by 2 okay so if you search this on google the total number of sub arrays so uh, for the total number of uh, this n into n plus 1 by 2 sub array are possible from an array of size n where n is the number of elements or the size of the array so this many sub arrays are possible okay so here what uh, here so here this concept of using this formula n into n plus 1 by 2 we will apply here how see the thing here is you can consider this uh, continu contiguous zero, uh, zeros as one array, as one array of size 3, this array of size 4, this array of size 1, okay, 4 and 1. Now how many sub arrays are possible if you have an array of size 3? Simple it is, 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2, this many sub arrays possible from here, here 4 into 4 plus 1 by 2, this many sub arrays possible from here, and here in 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2, this many sub arrays possible here got it so yeah using this formula of uh, the number of sub array possible from an array of size n what we would do we would simply uh, st uh, check how many contiguous zeros are there and based on that based on th and that we count how many sub arrays would be possible right so yeah we will use this formula okay got it so if you calculate this then the 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2 it is 3 into 4 by 2 and this turn out turns out to be 6 this turns out to be 10 and this would be fun so 10 plus 6 plus 1 17 sub arrays would be possible for this given complete atom got it so if you take any example and just keep a count of how many contiguous zeros are there and then apply this formula uh, uh, on the contiguous number of zeros then you will get the answer got it simple it is okay so the code for this is also simple see here what we are doing here we just initialize one answer variable and count variable so the count variable will store the number of contiguous zero so if it is zero then we do count plus plus and if we encounter any number other than zero then what we do we simply apply this formula count into count plus one by two okay and we make the count again back to zero 
right and also at the end we have to again apply this formula we if we have some zeros at the end so this else condition won't hit for the ending zeros and that's why we have to apply this formula uh, okay and each time whatever would be the result in the count we store in the answer we are storing in the answer right simple it is okay now uh, uh, till here everything is clear right we are simply counting how many contiguous zeros are there and from that we are counting how many sub arrays possible from that with the help of this formula but is there any better way to approach this question see what is this thing n into n plus 1 by 2 what is this formula so if you remember from the mathematics point of view that this formula is nothing but the number uh, it is the sum of numbers sum of n numbers what is the sum of num n numbers it is such a sum of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus up to n okay this is the sum of n numbers n into a plus 1 by 2 got it so we can use this intuition that this n into n plus 1 by 2 is a sum of n numbers uh, in here so at that point if we use this intuition we don't have to check uh, we don't have to calculate using this formula see how you will use this intuition okay again take this example 1 0 0 0 2 2 4 zeros uh, and then uh, some number 1 and then 0 again take this example now instead of this formula we have to use uh, this intuition that this formula is nothing but sum of n numbers so let me take one count variable at this point count would be 0 then count would be initialized to 1 2 3 then again 0 because we encountered a non-zero element here also 0 then 1 2 3 4 again 0 and then 1 now as you guys can see that here what we are simply doing see here we have count as increasing for all the sub array part we have value of count increasing that is 1 2 3 1 2 3 4 and what does this formula will do as a what we were initially doing whenever we encountered a non-zero element like uh, 2 the else part is 8 and we check for this formula check for number of sub arrays with a count with a count up till here up till this point up till previous point and we may count to zero here what we well, here this was the thing we are doing count with zero and before that we store our answer now another thing based on the formula see what is this uh, sum of n number what is this sum of n numbers up till three sum of n numbers up till four means all the n numbers are there from one to three from one to four from only one to one the can we can use this so that such that this formula is not applied yeah sure we will use this so here we uh, init we also take one answer variable and whenever we have something in the count we simply what we will do simply add all the count to the answer add to this like if the count is one add to answer if the count is to add to add to the answer so one plus three is what three three plus three is six so at this point as you can see that here the sub arrays length was 3 and if you would apply this formula n into n plus 1 by 2 that is 3 into 3 plus 1 by 2 you will get answer as 6 and you will see that at this point our answer has also turned out to be 6 because the formula is simply 1 plus 2 plus 3 and we simply did that right then this will remain 6 6 then 7 9 12 16 okay so how many numbers we have added we have added 4 into 4 plus 1 by 2 that is 10 numbers we have added and you can see initially it was 6 and then 16 so we have added 10 here because this is simple what is this this sum of all numbers from 1 to 4 and we simply did this 16 will remain 16 and then 17 so as you guys can see that we got answer 17 simply by adding all the number uh, simply by adding the count every time uh, we uh, look for an element we will add that to the count uh, means we will uh, increment the count based on the number of zeros and our answer uh, we will add the values of count each time to our answer each time right each time whether it is zero or not any element each time because uh, this formula is a uh, sum of n numbers from one to n and the count will always start from one to n so adding this count to the answer will give us the correct answer all the time and we don't have to use this formula so guys as you guys have seen the initially our code was this on the left hand side that we are counting the length of the sub arrays with zero and then counting number of sub arrays using that length but now uh, we are simply implement incrementing this number of zeros uh, when n equal to zero and in the else part if we encounter any other element other than zero then we make n number of zero is zero and you have at each at each loop we are adding number of zeros to our answer okay 
yeah and we simply return the answer so i hope you guys got this this is a uh, this is an intuition from this approach that instead of using the formula we can directly use the value of count and add to the answer it will give the same result because this formula is itself sum of n numbers and the same thing uh, the same way the count was increasing so yeah that's all for this video i hope you guys understood this video and if you guys have still any doubt then do let me in the comment section make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel thank you